Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on Ripple. We will take a look at the four-hour time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by four-hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So while this here may look like a few weeks' worth of time, it's actually just the past few days broken down into four-hour time slices. I let you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Um, and maybe it's not obvious if you don't watch the other cryptos, but this is a, a very interesting chart uh, taking place right now. Because if you're not aware right now, um, right now as of uh, when I record this video, Bitcoin's getting hammered, Ethereum's getting hammered, uh, and here Ripple is holding itself up quite nicely. Now remember also that cryptos are open 24 seven. So I realize if you're watching this video 20 hours from now, then the chart is gonna look a little bit different to you. However, my goal here from the presentation standpoint is to keep this video relevant for as long as possible. And I'm gonna accomplish that by talking about more so broad levels and then walking you through some questions. And based, uh, based on how you answer those questions, that'll dictate you know the current status of the chart. But like I said, as of right now, which is important because that could change if you're watching this video 15, 20 hours from now, but cryptos are getting hit pretty hard. But here, uh, uh, here Ripple is holding itself up nicely. So that brings about the first question that you need to ask yourself. And we'll, we'll go with the 20 hour number. So you're watching this video 20 hours from when I posted it. Question number one is, where's the price at relative to that pink line there, which on my chart is representing the 200 period simple moving average. If you are answering that the price is still up above that pink line, which it did a good job of here, then that's telling you that Ripple is not necessarily, you know, has gotten more bullish, but it's at least maintaining the gains. It's maintaining, uh, you know, the, the movement and the strength that's shown, which a lot of the other cryptos are not and have not done. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price is below that uh, pink line, I'm not saying that you know Ripple's totally ruined, but in the event the price is down below that pink line, the next immediate question needs to go down to that green line right there at 42 cents with the question being, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 42? If you were answering the question that the price is now down below 42, that would just pretty much imply that Ripple has now caught up with the other cryptos and is now getting hammered um, and destroyed. But if you are answering the, the question that the price is down below the pink line, sure, the 200 period, but still up above uh, 42, well, then at least Ripple's still putting up a, a good solid fight. Preferably speaking, yeah, you wanna see the price stay up above that 48 cent range, but in my opinion, at least, it's not necessarily the end of the world if the price does drop below 48 because you are still up above other areas of support, which, you know, circling back to the other cryptos are out there have just, they've not been able to do. If you are answering the question, though, that the price is still up above that 200 period, the next question to ask yourself is, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 52 cents, which is this level of resistance I've been talking about. And over the past, you know, over the weekend, the price actually did get a breakout through there. It couldn't maintain itself. Uh, so that's why that still needs to be considered an area of resistance. But if you are somehow answering the question that the price is up above 52, well, then not only that, does that imply that the, you know, Ripple's, you know, bucking the trend of the other cryptos, but it's actually gaining strength within a context of uh, you know other you know cryptos getting absolutely hammered, so very very interesting setup right now uh, with uh, Ripple. So we'll see how this one continues to play out. But next 24 hours should be quite interesting. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.